Hey everybody, welcome to Purpose February. I'm pre-recording this video simply because I have a crazy schedule tomorrow, so um, I won't be able to come live and do a video, but I wanted to make sure you still got your um, information for Purpose February for today, so let's get started. Yesterday, we talked about where you were investing your time, and we are still gonna use that uh, in a little bit, in a few days, so keep that handy. Today we are gonna talk about pressure, though, uh, on a few different uh, scales. So the way that you handle pressure will determine whether or not you can um, withstand your purpose and whether or not your purpose will be able to build, whether or not you're gonna be able to scale it. And uh, how you handle pressure determines whether or not your purpose is lost or one, okay? It's either found there, it's won there, it's lost there, it's built there. So um, if you look back um, at day nine, we covered, uh, we, I had asked you to go back through and look at all of the situations that you have been through in your life that were very um, uh, monumental for you, for you, good or bad. Go back and look at that and see if you had found any other skills, additional skills that you had um, developed during those times. So like I said, um, I had just mentioned, thrown out some ideas, like perhaps you're excellent conflict. Uh, you're, you're excellent with conflict. You, you don't have a problem addressing it because that was something that you learned through a certain situation or whatever. Maybe you have excellent leadership skills because of a difficult situation that you faced at a previous job. Whatever it is, um, I had asked you to go back through and take a look at uh, those experiences. We're gonna use those again. So I want you to consider how you handle pressure um, in your ex past experiences and analyze that. Have you learned how to handle the pressure? And I'm talking about this in every uh, realm of who you are. When there's pressure on you, can you handle it emotionally, mentally? Do your relationships suffer? Is your uh, first uh, reaction to it to try to escape? So do you try to numb yourself through buying something, through eating something, through whatever it is? Um, you know, how do you handle the pressure? You want to know yourself. You want to know what your natural instinct is right now in this moment, not what you want it to be, but what it, where it is right now. We're going to talk about developing that skill later on. And this is still part of taking inventory. So if you cave to the pressures of a system that you operate in, uh, if you cave to peer, peer pressure, if you cave to uh, the way that your family lineage uh and traditions are established. If you trade to, if you uh, will cave to um, bad belief systems, your own bad belief systems, even uh, this is all going to be indicative of what you are able to manage. And your purpose will not come to you in the fullness of the measure that you need if you cannot make hard choices, if you cannot withstand that pressure. You have to recognize that there is going to be a tremendous amount of opposition to you. When you are trying to, to uh, especially if you are doing something new, uh, especially in your bloodline for the first time, if you are um, moving into an area that the world would say you are unqualified to to move into, um, you know, you maybe don't have the traditional type of training or whatever it is. If you are doing something new, you need to recognize like that's a you're definitely facing some opposition when you are coming in there. And anyway, uh, all people will face opposition when they are moving into their purpose. Everybody. Even if it's been done by your great, 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 great grandfather all the way down. It doesn't matter. You're going to face opposition. And so pressure is definitely one of those things that you're going to have to get, get comfortable being in, right? That pressure is going to need to be uh, a comfortable space for you. You're going to have to stop translating it as a fight or flight situation and start recognizing it as a growth situation. This is this is where seeds grow. This is where stuff grows and things happen uh, and become comfortable with that. So uh, 
becoming an excellent problem solver under pressure, ha handling conflict, learning how to handle conflict, communicating well. All of these things while you're under pressure are skills that you're going to need to be developed. Okay. So we're going to talk about how to make this a priority for you. Um, if you want to move forward in your purpose later on, um, however, um, first we're going to just start with taking inventory. So take inventory uh, of the things that you need to improve upon when pressure comes. Anybody can be doing the right things at the right time in the right environment. When the atmosphere is exactly right, everything going exactly according to plan, it's easy to do the right things then, and it's easy to see growth, uh, or, um, or, or exhibit growth traits in that environment. When it really matters though, is when pressure happens because things unexpectedly will come to you. Um, the plan is not going to be able to be executed exactly as you had thought it would, or had written it down or, uh, had buy-in for when the plan was developed. This is just normal stuff. This is going to happen. And so learning how to take that pressure and use it for you, not allowing it to crush you, but but allowing it to change you, mold you into who you need to become in order to withstand that pressure is going to be vital. So today I do want you to go through and honestly take a look at your um, at yourself, at your skill set and where you are in this whole process right now. Um, it's important that you do um, come up with the areas that you do need to improve on. We talked a little bit uh, before about um, knowing your skills, right? And knowing which skills you need to develop. This is one that every person who's chasing their, their purpose is going to have to have developed. You're going to know how to handle pressure when it comes, even completely life-changing pressure. Sometimes we can deal with things if it's one at a time. If I'm having a financial crisis, I can handle that. If I'm having a family problem, I can handle that. What if you're having both? What if you're, on top of that, you're having a health issue? So there's um, uh, understanding that there is different levels of pressure. Of course, that's uh, that comes along with it. But really taking an inventory of where you are now and developing a plan eventually will get there um, to how you are going to change that, how you're going to start handling conflict when you're under pressure, how you're going to start responding when you're under pressure instead of reacting, how you are going to think creatively when you're in a fight or flight situation instead of instinctively. Okay, those are things that you're going to have to really take an inventory of and be willing to be dedicated to changing, but it's totally possible. And not only is it possible, it's necessary. So today that is your homework. And um, really quick, two things. If you haven't uh, subscribed already to my podcast, Today, you probably don't want to miss it. It's a guided meditation. I'm really excited for you guys to hear it. And I recorded four other guided meditations. If you need to start meditating, if you don't know where to begin, this is an excellent way for you to start developing this as uh, a daily habit for you. I said this yesterday, but I'll say it again. It is the single most important part of maintaining a healthy lifestyle for me. I have... I cannot tell you one other single thing. It isn't going to the gym. It isn't making sure that I have a uh, super supportive group of people around me. It is eating clean. Although those things are necessary, important, and I, uh, I cherish all of them, um, I'm telling you this is the single most important thing that you can do, okay? Um, and second of all, if you are not subscribed to my email list, you are going to want to go subscribe because there is a special offer, a special announcement just for my email list uh, in an email today. So if you have not subscribed already, please go subscribe and be on the lookout for that email shortly after you subscribe. Okay, you guys, I will see you tomorrow for another video on Purpose February.